Link 2012. Plenty of blood, though. Alright, now let's go to Pink Sheep. Okay, so this this guy, I love this guy, to be honest with you. This is just my favorite, favorite thing ever. One of the favorite, most, my favorite things I've ever made. Pink Sheep. Hello. Wait, hello. I am Pink Sheep number 237,152. Would you like to take a quiz? I can't remember the voice of how he sounds. Um, um, but this guy's from Exploding TNT's movies. Uh, I, I still watch Exploding TNT once in a while. What I do is I go through and I watch like 50 of his things at a time and then well, I don't watch him for half a year. But anyways, uh, this this guy, uh, Hypixel did a lot of stuff surrounding uh, Exploding TNT. They were good friends, if I remember right. I, I couldn't tell. Grupo is from Exploding TNT. I try to make this quiz as difficult as possible. I gave it to my sister, and she managed to get every single question wrong. So that means that there is well, there's a one in third chance that she can get each question right if she guesses randomly. But she got all I think there's like six questions wrong, <laughs> both times. <laughs> all right, so if we click sure, the answer is wrong. No go. Now go away. I am so I that I am not forced to stare at your ugly face all day long. <laughs> he has these hilarious answers. I want to get everything wrong. I, I just want to hear all his answers. Okay. So we have to leave the room and come back. Hello? Oh, I guess we need to go farther away. Alright. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I need to do a robotic voice. Hello, I am Pink Sheep number 237,152. Would you like to take a quiz? No. Too bad. <laughs> what ingredients are used to make a stick? Two wooden planks, a log, a potato, and a slime ball. Okay, we're just gonna go two wooden planks. Maybe he meant sticks? La 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 la. You are such a noob. You should go make a dirt house, although I doubt you could even manage that. <laughs> oh, I love his comebacks. This is just too good. Too good to be true. Man. Oh, wait. Is there anything inside the sword? I forgot. Oh, uh, yeah. There's an explosion. All right. Okay. I'm not going to... All right. But I want to get the, the, the first answer wrong as well. Would you like to take a quiz? Maybe later. That answer is wrong. Now go away so I may not be forced to stare at your ugly face all day long. Oh, he has the same uh, same, same answer if you get it wrong. For the first question. Hello, I am peak sheet number 200. 37,152. That's actually from one of his videos. The first time Pink Sheep is seen and exploded, I actually went through and found the first time that Pink Sheep uh, was shown. And then I found his number. Uh, all right, anyways, a log. Your answer is wrong. Take this crafty table and go embarrass yourself as far away from me as you can so that I do not be also become a noob. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he gave me a crafting table, didn't he? Yep. Or oh, we don't want that. Alright, we can't even get past the second question. Man, this guy. My voice does not sound like Pink Sheep's though, really. You need to go watch Exploding DT stuff. His, his Pink Sheep is great. It's used, it's an auto generator that's used. Uh, not an auto generator, I mean, uh. You know, like Siri and whatnot. Those different voice AIs. Okay, so it's a potato and a slime ball. You are correct because a potato and a slime ball make something sticky. Oh! <laughs> Do you like my mustache? It looks fabulous. Mine looks better. Or you don't even have a mustache. I think it looks fabulous. Your answer is wrong. As you see, I obviously do not have a mustache. Okay, then. 
<laughs> so guess what we're going to answer next? And <laughs> guess what's going to be wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is great. I love this too much. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if I'm spending too much time on this. I just love the pink sheep quiz. And I'm going to show you guys it after everything else. Um, the actual redstone behind it. It's pretty neat. No. I'm actually curious as to uh, what's behind the big door there. Give me a second. The answer is not correct. Do you like my mustache? You don't even have a mustache! Your answer is wrong. My mustache won the Nobel Hair Prize in 2013 and expects sincere apology when you get back. <laughs> oh, yes. Your, your mustache won a Nobel Prize and you, it wants an apology. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pink Sheep. Hello, I am Peak Sheet number 237,152, and he actually looks at you, which is the cool thing. It wasn't easy to do. Would you like to take a quiz? The answer is no. Too bad. What are the ingredients that make a stick? It's a potato and a slime ball because they make something sticky. <laughs> what on earth? All right, uh, and then lastly, do you like my mustache? Mine looks better. Lol, your mustache looks like Michael Jordan's armpit hair. <laughs> what is two planks plus two planks? Too many admins? Wow! <laughs> A really sore back. <laughs> oh man, I can't remember what the wrong answer is here, but four planks is probably... Wait, I was actually correct! <laughs> your answer is correct. At least you're no math. <laughs> I have one final question to ask you before I get married. Does this wool make me look fat? No, I didn't get it wrong. <gasps> uh... You are beautiful just the way you are. That cliche is so bad. Even your my grandma's Christmas socks know better. <laughs> I bet your cereal for breakfast. I, I bet you eat cereal for breakfast and your future wife will be so miserable that she will lick my mustache. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That's gorgeous. That's marvelous. Okay. So that's the thing. Um, I try to think... So what players were probably thinking at that point when they got to the four, uh, two planks plus two planks is, well, this guy gives completely irrational answers, so I'm going to do something completely irrational. But at that point, I decided, hey, 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 you're getting something completely rational, which is the four planks, which is why I got it wrong, because I forgot I forgot how I was thinking about other people thinking. Um, potato and a slime ball. Right. Do you like my mustache? Mine looks better. Lol, well, your mustache looks like Michael Jordan's armpit hair. What is two planks, two plus two planks? <laughs> um, too many admins. I like this one because it's planky. You know, the admin. Okay. You are wrong because we can sell the extra admins. <laughs> so it's not too many because we can always sell them. <laughs> okay. This guy just cracks me up. Oh boy, he's great. He's great. All right, if we go over here, he still sort of looks at us. He can look at us if we're over here or over here. No, I don't want to take a quiz. Too bad. What ingredients are used to make a stick? Potato on a slime ball. I think I'm going to guess yes for the last question, too, but I can't remember what the... Oh, it's it's no. I don't know. Mine looks better. A really sore back. Wrong. My back is not sore because staring at your low IQ and hideously ugly eyebrows gives me the courage I need to punish my future children. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh boy. But apparently I have a hideous face. Okay, whatever. Mr. Pink Sheep. I'm back. Alright, I don't think I'm going to get this last question wrong. It's a 50-50. I think it's yes. I think yes is the wrong answer. 
actually. Oh wait, no, no, yes is the right answer. Okay, mine looks better. No is the wrong answer, I'm pretty sure if I can't remember for sure. I think his redstone gets deleted the moment uh, you finish it, though, is the issue. Four planks. I <laughs> have one final question before we get married. Then will make me look bad. No. I can tell you are bluffing because you smell like cheese and have been squeaking, squeezing cow nipples. Now go away before I call the cops for sexual harassment. Oh no! <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> I can tell you are bluffing because you smell like cheese and, <laughs> and, and have been squeezing cow nipples. Okay, so because I smell like cheese, I've been squeezing cow nipples and therefore I am dishonest, of course. Yes, very much. Right. Let's go. All right, we got the. We, I'm, I I remembered the last line of reasoning for for this, and it's actually pretty funny. Why? Maybe later. Um, no. Uh, this is such a such a fun quiz. Like if anybody's needs to needs a walk through, well here you go. You are correct because a potato and a slime will make something sticky. Do you like my mustache? Mine looks better. Lol, well, your mustache looks like Michael Jordan's armpit hair. What is two planks to have two planks? Two planks, obviously. Your answer is correct. At least you know math. I have one final question bef to ask before we get married. This must. Does this will make me look fat? Yes! You are an idiot for saying that, but I like an honest man. That way I can manipulate him when we are married. In 2012, I love you more than the hairs in my nose and can tell that we have a very bright future. Think 2012, I have calculated, and we are going to make exactly 6.4 babies. <laughs> I am very excited and cannot wait to talk to you about, talk about toilets with you. Take this engagement ring as a sign that we will never part and will one day fuse into one. <laughs> okay, guys. I've had such an amazing day. <laughs> you cannot make me <coughs> happier than I am right now. Um, that was that was pure beauty. That was just absolutely incredible. I wonder if there's anything in here. We don't need TNT. Oh my. What are we ever going to do? I need a creeper to blow this up. Do you have a creeper anywhere? Come here. Oh boy, that was great. I was like, why is this engagement ring not working? Oh! <laughs> That's why! <laughs> oh, it's no ordinary. <laughs> if, yeah, don't. Was, was there any TNT in there? Oh, there was a TNT on the sword. Let's go grab that. We did too good of a job lighting this place up, to be honest with you. Can you retake the quiz is what I'm wondering. So if you got the questions wrong, can you see all the wrong ones? Thankfully we got all the wrong ones. Oh, well, that TNT is not useful. At least it didn't blow up any of the chests. It exposed the spawner. I think there might be something out back, but I can't remember. Oh, it's going to be a pain to get through the walls. Oh, we're good. And there's the background. Oh, the creeper explosion from earlier. Yeah, it looks like the gate just leads right here. Oh, never mind, that's not the gate. Wait, is it? I can't even tell anymore. Is 
All right, so there is a gate right out here, and I want to know if there's anything behind it. I don't have any TNT. I'm pretty sure there's something. I can almost guarantee you there's something in here. I don't know why. I just feel it. Watch me embarrass myself. I am completely embarrassing myself. <gasps> Wait, I'm not! I'm not! There's a hole! Yay! And the Grupo. I thought there was more to it, though. I thought there was, like, a big area back here. I'm, I think I'm thinking of a different uh, map, though. Because I know they had several main lobbies, and the other one had something that uh, similar to the gate. There's something behind the gate. There's nothing up there, it looks like. I do want to look up here, just to make sure we got everything. Wow, those explosions from the gas really did a number. Or the booze, I guess, technically not. Anyways. Get out of here. Well, we're pretty stocked up. I'm gonna go put these this a lot of this stuff in a, a chest. Here. We got two emeralds. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get more, but I guess not. Um we unfortunately can't get one of them because as we saw earlier, how oh, they exploded. <laughs> yeah, that thing exploded and then the crystal, the, 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 the emerald, we never got it in the end. It's, it's quite a bummer. Uh, although that doesn't make sense to me because you'd imagine that it would be, I, I would set its values to be unbreakable. You know, it probably teleported to me at some point in time. I didn't have room in my inventory. And so I didn't pick it up. Yeah, because I think once you destroy this thing... Ouch. Right. Because I think once you destroy it, it teleports to you. So... Yeah. It probably... Teleported to me when I was AFK. And then I never picked it up. The most likely place it would teleport to me would be in here, though. To be honest with you. And we can check in here, but it doesn't look like it's in here. So I bet we never got it. Or we accidentally dropped it. That would be the worst if we accidentally dropped it. Next episode, or next string of episodes, we are going to take down the left side of the rest of this. And we're going to go on to the final boss. We are almost done with this map, guys. Uh... Now, unfortunately, I still want to do a little bit after we fight the final boss. I want to go back through the whole map. I want to do a little bit more commentary, because I have been mostly playing here. And, of course, uh, it's not anywhere near as entertaining as me uh, actually going over the mechanics behind this. Like, you see, this whole thing right here? I had so much stinking trouble with the uh, with the lanterns around the edges of this, because they would melt the, the ice, and then water would come down. Like, you see it right there? It would come down like that all up there and it would create so many issues and I'd have to go fix it. It was a pain. Eh. So there's little things like that. Like you wouldn't know that I, I, I went through that to make this map. Um, and sadly this map didn't turn out quite as well as I thought it would. Too many spawners. Uh, not fun enough. Focusing too much on philosophy. Which we didn't even go over too much. Um, which we'll also probably go over in that me going through every area and commentary on it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you found this episode entertaining, please leave a like. If it's not worth your time, please leave a dislike. And what else? Don't forget to contribute and uh, make the most of your day.